Okay, what's going on YouTube? Okay, so listen, this is part two. How did I create the business? How did you start? And I'm going at it again because I get a lot of questions about how did you start your business? The business technically ain't 100% yet how I want it. But when you do a business, you got to put it out there and let it roll. Uh, what's the guy, the little guy, Damon? Um, I can't think of his name, but you know, I listen to him and he, you know, he says the same thing, you know, you put it out there. Uh, it takes a while to get a business how you want it. Uh, it takes a while to even get the content how you want it, if content is what you're selling. Um, so, there, you know, there's a couple of different things that I do. This is my goal-driven aspect, you know, provider services. You know what I'm saying? I don't do billing. I don't do coding. But I go in as leadership, okay? If I want to do that side thing, I'm going to do coding. Okay, but this state, that state, this state. I have people that work for me that do, you know, different states that work for the facility that I am their leadership. Okay, so those coders, they don't work at those facilities. They work at other places, but in leadership, you manage those different things. Um, when you guys are doing the business, you have to make sure that you know the business before you even execute it. Uh, there are a couple of things that we do need to... Um, talk about as far as the business. Um, and it'll take a minute. This whole course will take a minute. So um, we can get started. And what I want you guys to know is when you start the business, don't be afraid to just start the business. Take what you know and start the business. Because if you can't, how are you going to make it? How are you going to make it? Whatever you learned over the years, that's how you make it. I'm going to drop down and get this thing from down here and put this in. Um, how are you going to make it? Everything that you learned, everything that you experienced, you take that and you put that in perspective. I'm going to pull this out so I can put this other cord in here. You take that and i never seen a computer go down so fast. My battery is like this all the time. Let me, Y'all let me know if my Apple getting ready to burn out. So, um, you know, when you... You guys are doing the business. You have to put 100 into the business, okay? Whatever you can think of and whatever you think that's going to build the business, do it. Even if you're working, you don't have to tell everybody. Most of the word, do, you could still do what you're doing, okay? Um, many years, uh, it takes many years for people to get where they want to get. It's not a lifetime, but that's why, you know, I hear some of the YouTubers, they say, you know, they took a job at, uh, you know, Big Lots or something like that so that they can put 100 into their YouTubing. Uh, it's a business. It's a career. Uh, it, don't think that, you know, the YouTubers, you know, oh, they, oh, you, oh, you, you want to do YouTube? Oh, uh, YouTubers out there too. Listen, that's a business. That's a business. You know, you got to have aspiration. You know, my mother used to say, poor Lisa. And I'll tell you, I thought about that the other day. I, I meant to bring it up. I went to see my mom yesterday and I should I should have told her that. You know why she said poor Lisa? Because I used to just have so much enthusiasm with thought. I said, like, Ma, I'm gonna be the president. Mom, you wanna see me jump off this roof and I'm gonna be on, on two feet? And and you know, my mother used to be like, Poor Lisa. All the time. I haven't heard her say that uh, uh, in many years, but I can't wait till I go back uh, to see my mom. And she said, Mom, you remember you used to say, poor Lisa. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why she used to say that. Now I know I have so many things that I'd be wanting to do. I was like 16 years old. I was probably like 19. I want to buy a house. I was like, Mom, show me how to buy a house. You know, I mean, it was like so many things I wanted to do. Even if I wasn't there yet, I just wanted to do it. And I, I just wanted to try different things. Let me try this. Let me try that. Uh, and, 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 you know, I used to do that even to this day. Let me put this application. Let me see if they hire me. They see all the stuff on my resume. Let me see what they think. And a lot of people just think, well, you know, how come you have so many jobs on there? Because I own the business. I own Sapphire Position Coding. So you see 20 things underneath Sapphire Position Coding. Those companies are under my business. I contract with those companies. Now, you want to contract with me? Let's do it. Let's do it. So, you know, a lot of times, you know, you 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 test yourself. Uh, when you guys hear me say, um, learn the business, then own the business. Learn the business and own the business. I mean what I'm saying. If you, let's say you, you are a biller. Learn everything you can 
why you're a miller. I used to just be friends with the supervisor and manager, even if I didn't like them. And you know why? Because I wanted to see what they were doing. She, as the director, what does she do? I mean, what is her, you know, how? what does she do? You know, we do Zooms and I just be listening, you know. And, you know, I with a supervisor, I just be watching. What does she do? What does she do? How is her leadership? X, Y, Z. You know, what can I learn from her? What can I learn from you? And that's what you do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times people say, you know, find people who do uh, what you want to do. Find people who are experienced in what you want to do. Ask them questions. You know, in my situation, it was it was different. In my situation, I looked at the doctors. I looked at the physicians, the surgeons, the nurses, you know what I'm saying, the clerks, the people that I dealt with over the years, I worked in the facilities. And these were my peers. These were people who showed me how to do certain things. I met a person who did, uh, she's a HEMA. She, y'all heard me talk about her. She lived in a hotel. Uh, I don't know if she still lives in a hotel now, but she did then. And she used the conference room for her meetings, for her schoolings, for her this, for her that. And I met her by actually hiring her to come to my class so she can talk in front of my CODIS. You see what I'm saying? And, and that's what it's about. You know, and a part of um, what I do is also consulting. You know, a lot of people ask questions about X, Y, and Z. Um, again, you know, I'm, I'm, the YouTube university is new to me. I'm still trying to work it out. I told y'all, uh, I'm making a business. I'm making a business. I'm going to try to come on as much as I can. And, and, and you know, I shouldn't say try. It's not about try. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Uh, I'm going to drop as many videos as I can. Uh, I need you guys to subscribe. You guys see this right here? You guys need to subscribe uh, because, you know, we got a lot to put out there, you know, and you never, don't sell yourself short. You got something to put out there, just do it. You see LSU? You see that little girl? She out there. That little girl, 20 years old. I shouldn't call her a little girl. She's a young lady. She is out there and she's not afraid to state her game. You heard? And, and, and sometimes that's how you got to go at it. Now, sometimes people say you can diss criticism better than you can, you know, you can take it. You know, I don't know. I, I don't know, you know, how true that is, but it's a game. Okay. She did it and then she she just did it harder. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you know, sometimes you, you, you can't fool with us in a certain way. Cause if you, okay, she just, little girl, you know, we going, going in. And that, I think that's what happened. She went in, you know, and it, they both played well. The game was good. Okay. Uh, I'm just using that as a, when you want something, go get it, plan it, execute it and get it. I did so many things. And those of you who are asking about the business and how it is done, uh, us, you know, as females, it, it ain't just females, it's guys too, but you got to do a lot and you got to put a lot of energy in it because uh, in order for, for you to get the business how you want it. I mean, I used to, when my son, when my son got of age to, when my son started college, uh, I think that's when I started doing at it 100. Uh, and I think in 2015, I started in 2013. And the reason I started in 2013, that's when I first became an instructor. So, uh, you know, that's when I knew, I knew what, I knew what my niche was at that point for that. Uh, and it was told to me. Uh, and I mean, I had a long conversation, you know, you know, Tyrone, he be talking about him all the time. You're a straight soldier. You understand? And I told her that's the first time I, somebody ever called me sister girl. And he was like, you know, sister girl, you're in the right place. And I'm going, what? I, I mean, he did this long, I don't know, Black Panther, uh, you know, lecture to me. I was like, I was already amazed that he was black as a regional director. Because I'm telling you right now, I've never seen a black regional director in my life. Uh, the first time I actually saw, which this is this is with one of the owners at um, I can't even think Advantage Care where I used to work at many many years ago. I, I'm not gonna lie, he was black. I was like, he owns the company. Get out! And that was the first time I have ever in my life saw African American running the show. Then when I was in North Carolina, I said. That's why, you know, they're taking the history thing out. I don't know about that. We got to know. We got to know our culture. But anyway, don't let me, y'all know how I get what I get those off. Running the business. I I asked my son, you know, everything. I, I get my son's opinion on everything because my son uh, is an artist and he does graphics and he, uh, he looks at all my stuff. I show my son all my stuff. And he says, Ma, don't do that. 
my you gotta look more professional my you, you, i do i listen to my son when he tells me stuff when i first started building this this program uh i took baby steps uh i showed my son um how about this how about that but oh my that's yeah. my just do that you know and that's where i got a lot of my um input from my son you know uh, I didn't have anybody, to, you know, I can't pay somebody to say, here, look at this, look at that. Should I do this? Should I do that? You know, me and my son literally built this program. You know, he's in the back end, you know, but uh, me and my son literally built this program because I didn't put anything out there unless he said mom was all right. Um, and that's, you know, a target market. That's his age group too. Um, but, you know, my son, he's very experienced in doing things and being choreographic and stuff like that. So that's why, you know, I got a lot of input from, I still do to this day. You know, he makes my logos. You guys know that. That Black Phoenix took us a minute to make because I wanted it exactly how I wanted. Same thing with the Sapphire in back of me. Uh, the Black Phoenix, you know, there's a there's a meaning behind the Black Phoenix. Uh, that's another story. But I didn't call it Black Phoenix just because of Black Phoenix. Years ago, they used to call me, uh, they used to call me Lady Panther One, Lady Panther One. That used to be my name back in the days. And um, then I think um, show gave me another name, Peaches or some other kind of stuff. But, you know, I used to have fun back in the days. But I'm still a uh, whole culture on Black Panther issues. So uh, you have to just um, do what you believe in. Start with what you believe in. And a lot of people say, well, you know, I can't say this or I can't say that because I still work X, Y, Z. And that's why a lot of people are getting their own business. You feel like you got a cloud over your head. Don't 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 say too much. Now your boss might be listening to this. Now don't say too, don't say stuff that's too black because you you might, you know, they might think one way or might think one way. I'm black. How, what do you mean don't say stuff that's black? I'm not gearing any negativity to, towards anybody. You embrace your own culture. You see things. You, you know what I'm saying? You see things just like, you know, when they did the, yeah, you know, how they do it when they did the, the, whatever that means. I don't even know what it means, but if, if she does it, and then now that she does it, because she just do it more harder. I didn't see anything wrong with it. I thought those just all fun and games, you know. Like I said, you know, the guys, you know, they trash talk. They trash talk, and uh, I don't see why the girls can't do it. The guys do it. The girls should be able to do it, too. But um, good luck to both of them. LSU and Iowa, you know, they both, they did their thing. So, uh, one, you need to be computer savvy. You need to be computer savvy. I'm not going to lie. I probably got one, two, three. If I'm in the office, I have two screens. You all know the billers need to have two screens. And so does the leadership. Uh, one of my uh, directors uh, over in, I don't know if she was director. What was she? She was account manager. She had like four screens. I've never seen four, but, you know, except in the analyst, he's got a few. But just try to get yourself computer savvy. This is my note right here. That's why I'm holding this. Be computer savvy. If you're not, take University of YouTube. Y'all know how I am about YouTube. Go on YouTube and take some of those courses for beginner Excel and beginner Microsoft. And as the more savvy you get with the computer, the better you will be. Because you want to start using your Excel and making um graphics and uh you know writing down what you need and put them in, in putting them in the right format. When I first made the schedule back in 2015. It might have been 2014, but I made a schedule and I had to use Excel. I was a pretty much almost lost in, I'm like, you know, all right, I got to get more savvy with the Excel. I need to be more savvy with the PowerPoint, with uh, the Mac, period. Well, I didn't have Mac. I had HP. Uh, then I moved to back Mac. And my son bought me uh, this this one. I still I still have it. Uh, I, I don't know. I think I got in twenty one. I got this one in twenty twenty one. My son my son got it for me. Well, I had to learn the Mac just like I was a baby. It was nothing like HP. Uh, but get computer savvy, and if you can, try to get two. If you can get two screens, that will help you. Because when I was making uh, the program uh, slides, I had to look at the errors versus what was good. And I had to correct a lot of stuff in that. And, you know, like I said, you're going to do a lot of uh, correcting. Make sure you get computer savvy. Okay. So make sure, go to YouTube. It's free. You go to, uh, go to YouTube. You can go ahead and uh, take that so you can be more savvy doing your course. And you got to, you need to, you should have a passion for what you do. If you have a passion for what you get ready to create and you set your mind to what you get ready to create, you're going to complete it. You're not going to do something that I don't feel like doing that today. I don't, I don't, 
still like doing like hair if you like like hair that's a good thing if you just like doing your hair and you don't hardly like doing nobody else's hair it's not that much of a passion if you like to do it on the wigs and you just like designing hair you want that's a passion that is a passion because you want to show people what you want to do you're going to keep doing it and you're going to do it higher at, at a higher level okay um, do a lot of research. Do a lot of, I don't know if there's three or four. I ain't going to do the numbers because I'm going to get lost with the numbers. Do a lot of research on what you want to do. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to stick to what we do because a lot of you are what we do. Revenue cyclists, analysts, and XYZ, billing code and XYZ. I did a lot of research uh, online. I looked at different courses. I looked at what they have. I looked at how much it cost. I looked at how long it was. I looked at... Uh, you know, who passed, how many passed, um, how many graduated from this school, how many people passed the CPC just doing this? Do they offer the CPC? Did they pay for the uh, for the CPC? So I did a lot of research and not just in New York, because uh, you, you guys know originality is from New York. So uh, not just from New York, Connecticut, North Carolina, Georgia, wherever, I, I, you know, my mailing list is like a thousand strong. I'm, trust me, it's going to get bigger. I don't know how we're going to get out all that stuff, but uh, I use postcards and I just mail them. I just mail them out. Um, whether they throw, throw it away or not. If I mail out 25 cards, I don't care if I get one person. I got a shot because she's going to tell her and she's going to tell her and she's going to tell her. But, you know, you have to gear up to that and you just have to have patience. You know, you have to have patience. Uh, I mean, we not be it, we, we may not get the Lamborghini uh, today, but we'll get it tomorrow. You understand? So, uh, that's my, my grandson. He loves that Lamborghini. He, he, he loves cars. So, um, again, you know, just, you know, connect and research, you know, research. How I researched is, you know, that way. And I also researched experience, experience. All these doctors and, and you know, physicians and whatever that I worked for, I learned from them. I learned from them. And uh, this is what they told me, things that they told me, what they needed. This is that. This is their problem. She left and now we're in the dark. This one left and now we X, Y, Z. You got to have a backup. That's why they're coming up with so much of that AI stuff because COVID, COVID caused a lot of that AI to jump off. Because, uh, what are they, artificial intelligence, robots and all this other kind of stuff, the online stuff, you know, X, Y, Z. You can learn yourself. Okay, I don't need you to do that. I, why should I pay you $100,000 a year when I get a robot to do it for free? Just like the, uh, who got the layoffs? Who got the layoffs? Was it Google? I don't know which one it is, but when you see a company this this is what usually happened. If she got a promotion to one hundred fifty thousand, she got that promotion Monday, and Friday they go lay off thirty five people. That's what she's taking up for. They gonna have her doing all them thirty five people work. You you see what I'm saying? It's a tip for tat because there's a lot of AIE going on, and you know it's so scary. All these people having all these shootings at schools is so sad. You know it. it I bet you a lot of people looking into online schooling, online schooling courses and X, Y, Z. You know, they got high school courses. You don't have to go in to do these things. You can do everything online. And that's the goal. That's why I want you guys to join the um, Black Phoenix Team Us. Send me an email or go to my Facebook and look for Black Phoenix Team Us. Ask to be invited in. If I, Because I, I don't know you to invite you. Just ask to be invited in. Okay. So uh, that's what the research. Do your research. Do your research. Uh, if your goal is to have your own business and take charge of your own, because your wait and see, this is not just a building and coding course. You see how big I am? I think I'm getting about 50 pounds. I don't even know. You know, I, I'm not going to say I'm old, but you know, when you go to the girly thing, you put on weight, you're so-and-so. I don't, I don't even know. I'm just done with it. But when I get ready to, because I was thinking about doing that surgery, um, put it down, Put send me a message. What y'all think about it? Um, I, I think I'm gonna do it. I'll take y'all with me. I'm gonna take y'all with me when I, if I do it, if I do it, um, if I do it. So, you know, we'll see a couple of weeks. I got to go. They got to do whatever they do. And we'll see. But, you know, I'm going to drop a hundred pounds. So, uh, research it, before I did it or do it and research, research. I see a lot of side effects. All right. So we just we'll go this way. Let's go this way. Maybe I'll take y'all on my journey running around. Like I, I see the guy always running around, you know, I know he's trying to lose weight, but I don't have that stamina to do all that yet. But if I do, I'll take you out with me. So uh, connect with your peers. We talked about that already. You know, go online. Social network is ridiculous. See what these people are talking about. Connect with doctors. 
Connect with people with PhDs. Follow them. See what they talk about. See what they talk about. If you follow them, you can see what they're posting. You can see what they're talking about. If you put a message in there, you get in on their conversation. That's how you're going to learn. Ask them. Well, what do you do with X, Y, Z? How do you do so and so? If you know, if you want to see a surgery or something, go to YouTube. YouTube University. Yes, that's right. I'm mentioning it again. YouTube. When I first started doing the program, uh, look at some of those playlists down when I first started in 2020. You got I put some stuff on there where you can see a full surgery. And you know why? And you don't see that in the classes. And that's why I told you my my classes, those of you out here building classes, I add stuff in the classes all the time. I want you to see how a surgery is. See how that cardiovascular surgeon does it. When you see that craniotomy going in, pop that the chest is popped open. You, you gotta put yourself in there. That's how I code. I put myself in that surgery room. Dang. This, this is why I would tell you right now, I, now I can do pediatric and, you know, oncologies and all that kind of stuff, surgeries and stuff. But I, I, the coding on it, it's like you there, you put yourself in it. It's like you just want to cry when you see these surgeries and think that these kids got to have. I don't do pediatric coding. No, I don't even work at uh, work with uh, pediatrics. Uh, the OR was in the pediatric building in Schneider in New York. And that's how I was. That's why I was in there. And my sister, she can, she's still in the OR. She can do all that stuff. I can't I get too emotional with all that stuff. I'd be you know, passed out by the time I get out. The, the, the last thing that took me out of the OR was a craniotomy. That was a wrap. I, when I saw that skull come down, that skin come down, never, I just, I just, I, okay. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I'm gonna stay in there. But my sister, she's strong minded with that. I, I, she's more stronger with that, you know, with that type of thing. Now I'm a strong person. I don't let nothing pretty much bother me. And I ain't gonna fool with you. All right, you, you know what? You really don't need me. You take care of that yourself. Bye. But when it the, the kids and stuff, okay, that's what I couldn't even go in there to see my grandbaby. Uh, he fell and but bopped his mouth open. My my sister had to go in there. My daughter was in there, but. My sister had, I couldn't even go in the room because if I just saw him like that, I would have probably had a heart attack. I can't, I can't, I can't look at stuff like that, especially with children. Okay, so let's move on. Learning the business. Uh, so again, learn from people who are already in the business. Learn from people who are already in the business. That's the same thing as where you work at, start learning. See what they do. You know, get to know those dashboards, get to know, you know, those analysts, you know, get to know those people. I used to know a guy, what was his name? Ahmed Schmidt, uh, I don't remember his name, but he was an analyst years ago. And I used to ask him everything. Well, why do you do that? What are you looking at on this dashboard? And he he tell me everything. Lisa, come here. Let me show you something. Let me show you. This is what I'm looking at. This is not X, Y, Z. I was a, I don't know, was a biller. I was a biller and then I became a financial um, coordinator. Then I came became supervisor. And you see, I'd be asking questions. How you just, how you, and you got to show them that you know how to do this. You have to show them. They have to have faith in you to do what you need to do. You see that girl, uh, Angel, um, LSU, I'm using her again. She was confident. Did you see her do this? She said, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You you ain't got you don't need to do this. They ain't got to worry about it because you, this is mine. She did this before they even won. She was confident and she was going to win that championship, whether she did this or not. She knew she was going to win. That's how you got to go out your own business. You won't have pitfalls. You won't have that. I need to go back to work for 40 hours or 50 hours. You may have to work and then do your business. But one of the YouTubers, um, she's got millions and millions of people on YouTube. And that's what she said. You know, she she left the corporate world because she wanted to do the YouTube 100%. So she took a job where it wasn't required of her. Just like, you know, I told my niece, they want her to do leadership, but she don't want to do all that. I told my daughter the same thing. You know, they want to promote my daughter uh, to leadership and leadership team. And she said, no. And the reason she said no is because she know that it's going to be a lot of work. She know that it's going to require her to do a lot of work, you know, but, you know, I wouldn't probably agree with that. You know, I would, as a, as a leader, you, you would go, yeah, take it, take it. But then when it comes to your kids and he's like, I'm like, okay, well, no, you all right. Maybe not. Cause you know, my grandson, he's still 11 years old. My big one is almost 17, but the little one, I mean, you look for the mother. I, I, okay. I, we, we three hours away. So, you know, I, in some cases, no, but, you know, that's what we strive for. So, okay, again, um, learn the business. You already in the business, start asking people. 
if you're not uh, in that business already, if you want to teach revenue cycle analyst billing and stuff like that, and you're just, you know, you're just teaching it, uh, go take a four-hour class, a class, go take a four-hour job, take a per diem job at the hospital. Even if you are building this program, go work at the hospital. When you this is this is how I think of it. And you know what is so crazy? Don't think of it as you getting twenty six dollars an hour. Don't think of it like that. Think of it as you you in school, you in education. They paying you to learn. Don't worry about if you going in there as a biller. You going in there to learn. Because guess who you gonna meet when you you gonna meet the registration collection. You gonna meet the front end. You gonna meet the back end. Hey, some of them, they meet the doctors because you got doctors. Who took my coat out? You just, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. When I used to do charge entry, I didn't care. I was like, I'm about to meet every single doctor in here. And guess what? We're going to be cool. And guess what? Again, I'm going to market to them. You don't have to worry about them. I got You know me already. You know me already. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You want to call at home? You better get to know them doctors. You want to call at home? You better market yourself through every hospital you can think of. Okay? When you do coding, don't you don't have to work for the man. You work for you when you do the coding. The leadership is different. I've got to go in and do that. The coding, I don't work for people to do coding for them. I, if I have employees that code. I help them with the coding if something is wrong. Okay, if they got to fix something. Lisa, so-and-so is kicking back. It's, it keeps getting, it's keep getting rejected. The EHR keeps kicking the code back. And when the EHR kick the code back, EHR usually have, this is what's wrong with it. You got to fix it and put it back. Okay, so I'm, I'm jumping off to, you know, hands-on stuff. So, uh, okay, so again, learn the business. Okay, so if you already work at the hospital, you learn from them doctors, the managers, the billers, the supervisors, okay? Whoever got that role, learn from them. Learn from them. As much as you, I, I ain't going in there with no bill. I ain't no clerk. What? I Wait a minute. Hold on. I got 25 years of this. Work. Okay. So you not working right now and you want to do a business, take the billing position. Don't tell nobody your business. There ain't nothing they've been. You there to learn. That's what you there for. You, you there to get the hands on and you there to learn. Another reason why I want you to go in, learn the Epic, learn Athena, learn Next Gen, learn IDX. Learn Myers's Tiger. That's why you go in because you're going to learn those things when you go in there. You see what I'm saying? You see, you, if you guys look at my bio, you see that my biography is in my book, and that's one of the first things I did. You know what I'm saying? I started writing my book when I started putting the classes out there. When I started putting the classes, I started writing the book. You can get my book on Amazon.com, but uh, in the first couple of pages of my book, my biography is there. What I did and how I did it. What I experienced and how many stuff I, what, what I did, period. So again, you know, work at the hospital for a little bit. You know, I, I'm not saying don't do the physician office. I would prefer the hospital because in a hospital, you have more leeway. Once you master that hospital and what they're doing in there, then you go to the, the physician office, unless you want to just do physician office, period. But I don't suggest just doing a physician office. Go to the hospital first, because you can still learn from the physician offices that are already in the hospital. Okay. So it's not just you know, the private doctors, you know, I told y'all before, if you go to a private doctor office, they're going to expect you to do a hell of a lot more. Okay. So, uh, we talked about remote, we talked about the doctors on um, private doctors and learning business. Okay. So again, you know, just make sure you guys are computer savvy, um, get you a good chair because you're going to be sitting there for a long time, getting your program together, getting your program together, write down everything. I have thousands of books, write down everything. And sometimes when they get too, too old and I duplicate the same stuff, I do shred and get rid of the book and I keep the new books. Okay, write down everything uh, and just keep it in your mind. I'm going to do this. I'm, I, I got to do this. Let's get this done. Uh, and it will fall into place. I have a, a, a video right now. I'm waiting for my son to look at it. Once he gives me the go ahead, I'm going to drop them all like that. Uh, he a little slow sometimes. You, you know how our kids is. He, he 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 two hours ahead of me or an hour ahead of me or behind me, but you know, you know, he'd be about a week by the time he look at it. But he'd get it done. Um, uh, so you know, again, you know, 
make sure you're computer savvy. Uh, because when you first start now, you don't have money to pay everybody. And when you're working, you've got to take at least 50 to 60% of that to put it into business. You know, so just make sure you got everything else done, but you've got to put some of that into the business. I don't know why this thing is right here. Oh, okay. So uh, that's what you're going to do. Uh, when you create your program, make an outline of what you want in your program. Make an outline of what you want in your program. So you're saying to yourself, I want to do this, that. I want to show them how to do this. I want to show them how to do that. Master it yourself first. Master it yourself first. You can cut something out on a search engine or the web and throw it up, you know, throw it in. But you better know, you better know what it's about. So master it yourself before you put it up there. Because even if you put content up there, you still have to talk about the content. You have to talk about the content and make sure that they understand. And you can always refer to a search engine for your students. Okay. Um, and again, uh, you know, start it from scratch. Start writing down what you want in there. Build your summary. Build. You could use it as a business plan too. Build your summary. Build your objective. You, you're going to throw that in the business plan. Because when you get ready to go out there and market, say you want to go to market to, to Moses Cone. Okay, when you get ready to go market to Moses, Moses Cone, you want to tell that HR chick, look, this is my program. Let me teach your people. Let me teach your people. What do you think about developing a medical building coding program in your facility? All I need is a small room. I can take your receptionist to Billis. I can take your Billis to CODIS. You see that? That's the plan. That's the plan. I can teach you in Canada. I can teach you in Hawaii. You got YouTube? That's the YouTube business. You see how I'm thinking? As a business owner, that's how you're supposed to think. As somebody who want to go fur, that, not fur, far, that's how you're supposed to think. Okay? Don't get me wrong. You're going to make mistakes down the line. You're going to make mistakes down the line. I, I, I made plenty of mistakes down the line, especially with my program. You know, but you have to tweak it till you get it to how you want it. Tweak it till you get it to how you want it. Okay. Um, when you do make your program and you put it out there, put it out there. But go ahead, audit it while it's out there. Audit it. Say, y'all, look, y'all hear me say this plenty of times years ago when I first started putting it out there. Uh, I have, um, you might see some mistakes. Don't need it. I got to fit. I got to audit it. X, Y, Z. It don't matter. Just put it out there and then fix it. Okay. Uh, I don't care if you ordered it 20 times, just keep doing it. Because every time I post, you know, I always find something wrong, X, Y, Z. Use Grammarly. I use Grammarly all the time. Uh, use Grammarly and, and, and use that search engine. Um, that's going to help you out. Um, Grammarly, they have a free version and they have a version that you have to, that you have to pay for. But use that so you can... Um, Make less errors. I mean, if you don't have money to pay somebody who's going to audit it and read you the X, Y, Z, you got to do it yourself. Copy and paste everything on, Am on Grammarly until you get it right. All right. Get the the uh, the second version. You'll get it right. Okay. So um, just, just, just resource. If you can outsource that and put your stuff out there and somebody can read and give that to you perfect, go ahead. But don't say nothing if you find one thing wrong and you haven't paid somebody. Okay. But if you got it, go ahead and do it. All right, so what else? Um, I kind of skipped around because I just kind of wrote this down because I want you to try to try to put everything in. I could have typed it out and then got it more depth. But this is just how did I create the business? You start and creating a business, okay? Uh, you guys know I go to the mall. I go out there and sit down. I usually ask the guy, can I uh, set up in front of um, his store? Or I go like in the middle of the mall where everybody's always at and I set these things up out there. And I set my cars and everything up out there. That's usually the plan on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, we're going out there today. Okay. We're going out there today. Okay. And don't forget, look at that website because sometimes I post a course for free. Okay. So, um, and again, we got to get a thousand subscribers. Give me some su subscribers. I got to blow this channel up. Okay. I might can do it for free. And the only reason why I'm saying I can do it for no charges because I work during the day. Okay. When you don't, I mean, that's different. You got to, you know, 
once you get your house and the car you want, you're done. They, they can do anything. They can do anything. Um, you guys know I told y'all what happened to my. I was devastated what happened when I was at my closing. They think they think they they think that don't bother me. I was devastated over that. But we can redo it again. Then we gonna get the neighborhood that we really want. I'm gonna take y'all with me when I can redo it. Okay, so um, again, uh, send me a request to join um, Black Phoenix Team Us on Facebook. Okay, so create your own program. Um, well, you guys know you want to create your program, you or your own program. You can use different type of tools to create your program. Um, mimic other schools, tweak it. If when I say mimic others, I don't mean copy their stuff and plagiarize their stuff. Uh, let me drop that in for I forget plagiarism. Go on. There's a thing. There's a uh, there's something called an OV score. When you type up something and you take stuff from another book or you take in information from, let's say CPC. If I take something from CPC, I'm teaching. I'm teaching the students uh, to pass the CPC. So it's not, I'm not plagiarizing something from CPC because I'm giving my students to take your course. We uh, we learn so that we all can pass the CPC. But if I write something and I see it's word for word, I put it on OV and I get back, okay, you, you don't wrote out they book 100%. I pull it back and I fix it where the OV score is not high. That's how you can know you, if you have duplicated somebody's plagiarism. If you put something in there from the book or from a book or something like that, make sure you put the quotations and uh, you have to put in there, you have to in, and put your citation in there of where you got it, of where you got it. That, that That's why sometimes you guys see me the pictures. I put the pictures on there um, that I get from online and XYZ. And I always put the website down there where I got the picture from. Uh, and that's just something, you know, my son made, my TM and my logos. Uh, those are my, my trademarks. Um, I don't, uh, I don't uh, put it there, but if I get something from some place else, you put, you put where you got it from. Okay. So uh, just, you know, again, you know, tweak your course how you need it uh, because this has to be originally from you. Uh, oh, you know who asked me about my chest? Um, you guys didn't ask about my chest because I've not put my chest on on uh, YouTube. I don't put the chest uh, on YouTube because it's not in the course yet. The tests are already in the course. When you guys see me do the course, you you'll see them. But there's a a, a program at Evolve where you you they can make a test for you. That's crazy. Any crazy? Guess where I learned it? Schools. Mm -hmm. programs, universities. That's how we create tests. You you uh you put in what you want. Let, let's say I put language and medicine in it. Uh create uh 25 tests for language and medicine. Bing, all tests is gonna show up. And that's how I create the test. If I if I want tests for medical billing, that's how I create the test. Okay, that's that's one. The other way you can create the test, you can take the test from out of the book. And long as it pertains to that chapter, you could also create that in your program. You can use that and create tests from there. Make sure you have the answers because you need to have your teach books. Okay, this this ain't for the students. This is for those who want to want to uh, do the medical billing as a uh, you know as a business. Uh, make sure you get your teach books because the teach books are different. It's a lot of stuff in the teach books that uh, show you different things. Uh, you could go to Evolve. Evolve has teach books too. Okay. If you, if you don't have that little C for teaching, um, how can they get them? Uh, thrift, go to the, you ain't going to get a new one, but you can get one from there just to give you an idea. But, uh, try Amazon to see if they have the current teach books of language and medicine, step-by-step -step, XYZ. Uh, what other one? Um, any book that you use, just make sure you have the teach book. Okay, uh, what else do we have over here? So we did your OV score. Watch your OV score so, so you don't plagiarize something. So yeah, I use, I use that and um, it helps. Okay, and the Grammarly is for, you know, certain things, certain grammar, X, Y, Z. Uh, okay, so it's just uh, plagiarize. Okay, high score. Okay, again, change your content if that score gets too high. Uh, I, I try to stick with like 5%, 6%. Writing. I, I talked about writing already. You're gonna write a lot uh, because you're gonna have epiphany, and then you you're gonna have to grab that book and write it down. Oh, you know what? Let me talk about this, this, this. That's how I used to do YouTube when I first started. I used to write down everything that I'm gonna talk about 
Uh, I've been doing that lately. Just now, I just started uh, a couple of days ago when I first started, you know, uh, I started, you know, writing notes again. Which I, I kind of just, I just know what I would talk about. Years ago, I didn't know what I was talking about. I had to write down everything. What are we going to talk about today? So, you know, look at some of those old playlists. Uh, so write down everything. I write down everything. Okay. Uh, create a goal list. Create a list with everything you want to do. I want this program to do that. I want this program to do If I tell my son, I know I wanted to, Ma, how are you going to do that? I don't know, but we'll figure it out. And I, you know, I say that even if I'm at work, I say that a lot. I don't know, but I'll figure it out. And then you have people that, you know, you always have somebody that's literally, you know, hating on a job. She says she don't know all the time. She always says she don't. I do not. I say we don't know right now, but we're going to find out. Or if somebody asks me something and I'm not sure about it, I can't, I'm not giving you an answer right now. Give me about five minutes and I'm going to get right back to you. So, but you know, there's always somebody hating on a job. I always trying to make you out to be, you know, you're the dummy. Right. But you're the manager. I am the director. You know, and you always get somebody who's want to question you about something. Um, You know, just take heed to mm -hmm, do what you got to do. Get out of there. Unless you just feel like, you know, because me, I'll be like, okay, so you probably need to direct, be the director. Maybe it ain't me. Maybe it's you. You, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that, like I said, learn everything you're going to learn. Learn those personalities. And you guys see a lot of stuff on my Instagram. Take, join my Instagram, set by physician uh, Put real world stuff on there. I put real world stuff on there. You know what I'm saying? I put something on there about a, uh, you know, about a physician. You know what I'm saying? Don't, sca don't be scheduling you no know, physician uh, uh, at 60 days prior to the surgery and then check the insurance uh, 24 hours before the surgery and then you don't realize that this woman done moved or this woman done changed jobs and she doesn't have the same surgery and your surgeon doesn't take her insurance. Don't do that. Don't do that. And you know what I'm doing? I'm canceling the surgery. I'm canceling the surgery. As a director, I'm canceling the surgery. I'm going to tell you why. I'm canceling the surgery because I'm not going to let my provider do six hours of work on this woman and he's not going to get paid. Now, it's not an emergency, else it wouldn't have been scheduled six, six, uh, two months ago, 60 days ago. So it's not an emergency, okay? In some cases, you're going to have an emergency in the, in the, in the OR, in the ER. You're going to have to do it regardless. But if you can prevent it, if you can prevent your facility from losing $80,000, oh, well, they, they, you know, we're going to bill seventy, but you ain't going to get but three out of it or four. I'm canceling it. If you disagree, you disagree. But I'm canceling it. I've done it before and I'll do it again. You know what I'm saying? So don't, you know, don't, don't, the, the gist of us is to make sure that your provider is not losing money. Let's try to prevent it the best way we can. Okay, so uh, <laughs> when you are developing your business, you know, just make sure you have the, make sure you have the education to do it. Make sure you have, I, I'm not going to say that some people can just do it by ear. But uh, make sure you have the education to back up what you do. I went to school many years. You know what I'm saying? I sacrificed moving from state to state, learning everything I had to do. And I had to grow up and take my children with me. Okay? So when you, when you, when you say what you want to do and you want to learn about the business, learn about the business. Learn the business. Learn the business. Okay? I went to college for uh, medical billing and coding. I went to college for my bachelor's degree. I went to college for a master of science in healthcare management. I went to college for my MBA because I wanted to learn the business. I wanted to learn more, more about marketing. How do we do that? How do we do that? Hey, what are you talking about? What the heck is AI? What's the word? A lot of times you got to get that business. Some people are education driven. That's me. I'm education driven. My grandson, he, he is grandmother for sure. He don't get ill. He, he do not let the teacher go. If he don't know, he... Why? What? Why do you say that? What are you talking about? Well, where did you find that from? You have facts. How did you? How do you know? I ain't that bad, but my grandson, he is grand. He he is his grandmother's child. I'm gonna tell you, he, he's something else. I love my grandson. He's something else. Uh, but you know, again, you know, you have to have the education to back up what you do. And when you guys are teaching, those of you who are taking heat to me, I try not to come on and be like, hey. 
Yeah. Be enthusiastic. I like a lot. When I first go, it's like an audition. It's like movies. You go on and you're like, okay, so what do I say? Yeah, all right, what? And that's not, that's why a lot of people just, you know, even my girlfriend, some of my girlfriends, they feel like I'm antisocial. I'm not antisocial. If I'm not going to be bothered with you, get out of my face. Don't Listen, I'm not going to lie. Some of my students used to call me a shark. It's never a shark. I didn't even realize I was that bad till I saw somebody else act like the way I used to act. I mean, I used to have teachers like, so this is what you teach teaching? So what else you got? Show me the new curriculum that you made for this semester. I want you to show me how the students are going to prosper from this different than the old one. I mean, I, I, I probably could have came at stuff different ways when I approached I don't treat the hospital staff like that. I don't. I guess it was the teachers because the teachers were teaching their students that I wanted to make sure that, you know, I didn't have to write up nobody for no silly stuff. You show me that these students is going to learn from this. Okay. And you show me how you're going to execute this, number one. You show me what material that you need. So what is this? Okay. So you're going to do that. And, and I probably asked a thousand questions because I want to make sure that the students learn what they're supposed to learn. You know what I'm saying? We're getting financial aid. We got to, we got to prove pudding. You got to prove pudding. You know what I'm saying? And I guess that's why they used to call me a shark. I ain't like that. No, I ain't like that no more. I'll be grilling nobody about, about stuff. You know, we just talk about it. We, you know, okay. Or I just, you know, I go at it a different way. Okay. So. Um, take heed to, heed to your peers. Social networking. I have a list. I don't know, about 15 or 20 that I do social networking on. And I use those social networks to actually market. Um, LinkedIn, all of them, even on LinkedIn, you know, that's my professional uh, social network. But I still use that to market on uh, TikTok. I don't know. Pinterest. I got a whole bunch of them. Put your stuff out. Put your stuff on there just to get it out there. And this is an exercise for you. That's how I felt about it for me. Everything I learned, I can go to YouTube and learn something. They tell me, oh, you know what? Let me try that. If I ask somebody, well, how do you, how you market? How do you, how do you, you know, you just do it. Um, I used to ask my nephew, I asked my nephew too, well, how did you break out of, you know, I, I told my nephew, like, how do I break out of being so, I don't know if I'm shy or I don't just don't know how to market physically or whatever and you know who he said he said oh lisa just do it you you're gonna break out of that oh lisa just go out there and just do it don't feel shame just go and i i used to tell my nephew all right we're gonna get better at this and from that day forward you should see me out there marketing like crazy you should see me and, and you know that's how i get a lot of my students from that you know a lot of people are interested in my program so don't be shame. Just get out there and do what you got to do. It's your business. You better market it 1,000%. Uh, the guy, uh, Damon John, that's his name. Uh, he's a sweet little guy. I'm talking about a little guy. He's a millionaire. He, he's a shark guy. The shark dude. Watch shark. That's a good thing. I used to watch shark all the time. I used to watch it all the time. I still watch it um, uh, every now and then. I think I'm going to catch it next episode. But I usually see it on Twitter when a guy comes on and he has all those footage on there. So again, you know, social network and get on all those social networks and you can see how people do their program. I used to use a program also called Emudo.com. Uh, even though Emudo, that was, matter of fact, that was one of the first programs that was introduced to me by my um, regional director. Um, he is the one um, who gave me the idea to do the program. He uh, he put me to Emudo.com and we actually started using that physically in the classroom. I used it for a lot of things. And then recently they closed Emudo.com. Um, but that was one of the teaching websites. So I moved to um, uh, another uh, another website. Other than that, I had to um, pay for it. Um, I can't even think of what it is, but find one, look for other teaching websites. There's one that's called U, uh, UMD. Uh, try that one too. Uh, but again, your courses have to be ready before you go on those sites. Okay, so, oh my God, I'm 51, 51 minutes in. I wanted to do this for at least an hour. I don't know if you guys are going to watch through it for an hour, but stick with me. Okay, so let me see what else I have on here. We did that. We did that. Um, uh, you don't need to be a super expert to open a business. Just learn the business on the way. You don't have to go to all those colleges and everything that I did. Just learn the business on the way. That's just a passion for me to just go and, and goals that I had to do those different things. You know, I've been a member of AAPC since 2009. So, you know, keep up with your license and everything that you need to do. Okay. Um, we talked about that, how I learned the positions as I was employed. 
in these different places. Go get employed in certain places and work two, three hours. You'll learn a lot of stuff from them. Okay. Um, so again, you know, my course is designed for beginners and advanced people. So beginners and advanced. Okay. When you want to learn other stuff, I'll put you through other YouTube sites so you can learn those things. But this is beginning and advanced. Okay. I change CPT, uh, medical terminology. Uh, those are uh, medical billing. That's our prereq courses here. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, okay. So, you know, when I started making my book, that's how I started it. I started writing my book first. I started writing my book first. Okay. I didn't publish it till 2020. And that's when my program just took off. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to close this with, you know, get input for somebody. Show somebody the work that you're doing. See how they like it. Go to school. Pick out a girl and say, what What you think about this? What you think about that? Go to school. Ask the medical billing teacher uh, what they think about it. Uh, and then, you know, you would just take it from there. Yeah, those are my bifocals. I, you all know I can't see. So, you know, I do wear them. Not in the street. I really don't need it. I just need to just look at the computer with them. So, um, again, that's how you guys are going to do the courses. Just do what you can. And you need to have some kind of support. You know, you have to pay rent. You have to pay bills and X, Y, Z. And trying to do the I see people like Tyler Perry stepping in his car. He really did. I'm telling you, because you can't pay $2,000 in rent and try to do the business. You can't do it. Um, You know, you always see something with these stupid scams and, you know, they call you. It should be off. So my apologies to you guys. So I'm going to close this out. Uh, I will review it and then I'm going to go ahead and um, post it. So this is not live. I'm going to put it out there. This is part two of the how to create your business to the one I just posted. Um, that's all it is. Uh, part two. Uh, next session, uh, we're going to go over that coding part that I told you guys we're going to go over. So uh, this is for you guys who asked me about the business and how I how I started. That's generally how I started. I was already working in the business. I was already working in the business and my regional director uh, suggested that I take it to another level. He suggested that I do this business. And at that point, I just was like, how do I do that? You know, he was like, let's do it. I think you can do it. Let's do it. And uh we did. We did it. We did it. We did it. And uh, he's still he's still my mentor to this day. You know, uh, I will, you know, send him the rest of the program so he can also check it out and see if it's good. And then uh, the uh, job developer, I also send stuff to him, especially about uh, how I'm going to write something, because um, that was one of his specialties. I done cut the heck out of my head. Now it's all over the place. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I still keep in touch with uh, some of that team. Uh, over there, you know, even though, you know, he was a job developer, you know, he's still my boy, you know, when I can't became the director, he quit uh, because he felt that I guess he should have had the director position. I don't blame him. He was already there 15 years, but I, I was only there a year and I became the, you know, center director, but it's motivation. It's my, I ain't gonna name no name, but you better be still my friend because uh, sometimes I do have to call him about some job development stuff, you know, because as I tell you, we don't just do Medical coding and billing, we do other stuff. Uh, 56 minutes, and I'm trying to cut it down in an hour. I'm gonna cut it down. Stay through the whole, uh, the whole uh, video. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. I forgot I had that connected. I'm gonna turn it off now. Bye.